dream I could buy my way to heaven When I awoke I smit that on a necklace I told God Alright, I'm gonna show you how to Or what to do when a guy stands up in your guard Or in your butterfly guard more specifically Alright, I'm basically gonna show you a lot of options Cause there's a ton of options Some work really well, some work decent uh, And then I'll just show you the ones that I use personally That work for me Like I said, everybody's body type's different Like a Marcelo Garcia you know, shorter, stockier type size. I'll show you what he does. You know, guys who are longer, like myself, and maybe like uh, Braulio Estima, they do a little something different. Um, so you'll see. All right, so a couple things. Number one, if he's in my guard and he stands up, all right, this is really no good for me right now as long as my legs are locked because I can't reach him to go for any submissions, obviously. So rather than having him open my legs and have a good position to pass, I'm gonna open it myself always, okay? Boom. Feet to hips, okay? Uh, I'm gonna start real basic. I'm just gonna assume you know zero about this position. If he stays exactly where he is, it's an obvious easy sweep. Feet to hips, ankles, full push, okay? Thumbs up. Smart guys are gonna pull one leg back. My favorite sweep in the world, even further. Yep, okay? We're gonna try to get this knee inside, but right when they open your guard, or when you open your guard, when they stand, this is when you're going to get it. If you wait too long like I'm doing now, you're not going to get it. The second your legs come off, you grab ankle, foot to hip. We call this the tripod sweep. Hook this behind his knee. It doesn't really matter how far his foot goes back. I'm always going to be able to reach him. So it's a hook. I pull with these two, and I push with this one. Now, I don't just let go because if I let go, he's going to come back on top of me. I got to hook, keep this hooked, keep this up in the air so he can't get up until I'm ready to sit up and try to pass or just get up into his guard. Okay? So, real quick. Basic, basic level. He stands up. Boom. I grab both and sweep him. He steps his leg back. I follow. Push pull. Okay? He stands up now. This time he's a little more smart. He knows those moves. He doesn't let you just do that, right? I go for this, maybe he kicks it out, and now we're here. Okay? No good. I need to be, I need to be anchored to him. Can you, you think you can hear me up there? Okay. I need to be anchored to him. So like right now this is no good. He grabs my ankles, it's even worse. Never let him control your ankles. The easy way is just to kick your leg back. Look, it goes right between his thumb and his fingers. I got stuck. If you stay on your back while he's standing, right back. If you stay on your back while he's standing and you're not anchored to him, and I'm going to show you a million ways to anchor to him. If you are not anchored to him, you need to sit up. Just sit up. So let's just say you try to anchor to him in some way, shape, or form, feet on hips, hooks, different ways, and he's just here. Don't stay like this. Okay, with your legs just free. There's a million ways I can pass that way, okay? Sit up, safer, okay? At least now I can't pass. He can kind of move with me, okay? If I get a leg in, there's certain things he can do, okay? So, if you're gonna anchor to him, if you, if you like to play from your back, and you wanna anchor to him, here's some options. I train with Marcelo just like you did, and, uh, or just like you may have, um, and this is what he does, and I like it a lot. So, if the guy stands up, whether he's on his back, or whether he comes up, he goes after the front leg, and slides into the single leg start. Okay, it looks like an ankle lock, but it's not. He never uses it for ankle locks, he just uses it for sweeps. Starts here, this hand, back of the leg, elbow locked. I don't care where he goes now, he can try to turn and run out, and he's not going anywhere. Go. I'm, I'm latched to him. Okay? My foot is hooked. It's not here like a heel hook. It's here. And this foot's on his hip. If you're in the gi, just make sure your foot's on his hip and not doing this. That's called reaping the knee, and it's illegal, and you'll get points taken away or, or disqualified, whatever. Just keep the foot on the hip. To finish the sweep, I can bring him forward, back, left, or right. But my main objective is to get him to go right. I want to take my hips, I want to blast him into his knee, right. So I go forward, I go back, I pull him, I go left, and when I'm ready, I go left first. I 
blast my hips into him. At the same time, I dig my elbow under his foot. And then he falls. As he falls, I use the momentum. Come up. So up here. Oh, and I'm anchored to him now, just like an anchor. Lock. Then I can push him, move him, left, right. But when I'm ready, my biggest, highest percentage one, one of my highest percentage three from here, is to blast my hips into his knee to the outside, taking my elbow and tripping him. Watch. See how I just kind of put his ankle in? That's what I want. Come up, look, you're in perfect position to pass now. Okay, and then Marcelo, what he'll do is if he can't get that sweep, he'll go to the, the, the regular ice car from there. So from here, boom. Okay, you can see he just can't sweep him. This hand swims under. Foot to the hook, other foot on top. So exactly how it is now, this one's on top, this one's on bottom. He just switches this exact frame to here. This one's still on top, still on bottom. And here. Now we're in X guard. A million ways to sweep from here. You can push forward, back, left, or right. If I want to go forward, I just blast them. If I want to go right, my foot slides to the bottom of his heel. Push pull. If I want to go forward, bring him in. I grab his ankle over here, and I push forward again. Or if I really want to go this way, which I don't usually like to go, but I can just take my hands and just blast his knee. Boom, and he goes this way. Now possibly I can take it back and just come up on top. Okay? And so the main thing was anchoring to him. I didn't give him a chance to push me flat and then, you know start to come over me and get his foot in between my legs. Right away, like let's say he just opened my guard and stepped away. Right away I can either come to here, just grab and dive in. Or if he comes to me here, boom, just dive in. Anchor to him. Okay, so you go single X to the regular X guard, I'm anchored to him, he can't pass here. Okay, another way that a lot of people use if you want to stay on your back, is he puts one knee in, the De La Hiva hook. Okay, so just take my foot, I go behind, and I hook right inside his thigh. Okay, and I grab the ankle. Now the De La Hiva guard for no gi isn't as, there's not as many options as there is with gi because I can't really control his wrists like I can in the gi. So, most people use this for just like a, like a holding anchor position. So grab his ankle, I hook my foot in this foot, this is kind of like a floater. I can put it here, I can put it here, I can put it here. I can kind of like keep him away, move him. He's not passing here, he can't go knee through anymore. He's not going knee through. He can't go double under, he can't spin around him. He's doing a lot of stuff he can do, he turns. I'm going to come up and sweep it, okay? This is just an anchor position. It's just here, outside, hook inside as high as high as I can. The key, though, is do not stick your foot out too deep. Like this. If he takes a big step with his back leg over here and sits down, that's the biggest thing you got to worry about. If you ever see that, just bend it, okay? So over here, if I want to actually do something with it, one of my favorite things to do is just to take my foot and try to hook it right here. Don't go too deep, but just enough to hit his forehead. So I'm here, right there. He's not knee barring my knee is still out. And I just straightened my leg. Look what it did, it turned him. And usually they'll either try to run out, or they run out. I follow him, if they don't run out, and just get up and just take him down, take his back. So he sticks the one leg in, so the leg's in. This one's here, or here, or here, or here, or here. You can move them, see? Start messing with them. Start trying to sweep them, okay? Uh, another thing I do from here, which is a little more advanced, but it's, if you practice it, it works really well, is I start here. If he's not doing anything, and he's not trying to pass, and he just stands there, I kick up, grab his wrist, I'm sorry, his uh, waist here, use my hand, pull out and pass. Yeah, you have a hook. I'm using this side. This one. Oh, this is usually running. Right here. That's a better angle. I can try to turn him. 
The first one was this. I go to this far hip, I just straighten my legs, it turns him. Come up, try to take him down. Or he doesn't do anything, I can't get here, whatever. Come up, grab, pull his leg out. Um, what else do I do here? Come up. If he's got one leg in, you never want to let him get this leg in between yours. Unless you got a really good deep half guard, which I don't. Because <laughs> then you can come here and start working for the deep half guard. If you don't, you don't play that game, then don't ever let him get his foot in the center. Okay, if his foot comes in the center, here's the other one. I'm used to the center. Okay, if it gets in the center, boom. Just use this little hook. Keep it here. You can move yourself, you can scoot back, you can scoot forward, you can use your hand, you can move away. You can move around, but if he gets it here, boom, always have this. Alright, now at least we have options. We can come here. You see how I, I didn't just stay here, because now he can just swivel his foot to the other side of my knee. The other side. And start passing that way. What I did was, I want to like cut him off over here, so I kind of come to the side of him. Drop my ear tight. Now one thing I can do, I don't know if you're, you guys are good wrestlers, but if you're a good wrestler, I'm just going to get up in base. Everybody knows how to get up in base, right? I'm just going to do that. So I take this hook out now for a second, and I feed his leg to my hand. And I get up for the single leg. And now I can run the pipe, lift him, I can do whatever I want. So he's here, he does get it in, boom, I hook, nice and tight. Sometimes, from here you can go right back to like Marcelo and his students, go right to the single leg squat from here. So they hook with this foot, come tight, and then just like pull you on top, okay? Pull you on top, right to the single leg, on this side. See what I mean? As long as your foot's on the inside, it's easy. Now they're here. Go right to the, the X guard from here, whatever. Again. I never let him get here. You never let him get his foot inside of that hole. Unless you're a really good wrestler or unless you like the deep half guard. Hook. Hook. Single. Hook. Grab. Single X. Okay, we go right back to that. Uh, one thing I like to do, I mean, it just worked for me. I don't like to, I like to do some of that stuff. It works on certain people and everything, but like, I don't know. I just like to just hook myself to him. So he, he stands up and, get, and steps back. I'll try the two sweeps I showed you in the beginning. If it doesn't work, I kind of like to just throw myself to him and just hook him. So like if he's here, he comes like back there. When he comes forward, I like to just I kind of like to just hook him. It's a good position. I can sweep him, but a lot of times I bend down. When he bends down, I can't sweep him, but now I can go back to that single X if I want. I can still try to sweep him. Um, he's just playing into my game more. Now I can go feet back to hips. I can wrap my guard back around him. It's just like an anchor position where I just anchor to him, hooks, grab the calves, and I just hang out here for a second and see what they do. If they don't do anything, I can go right to heel hook. Go to single X, I can sweep him. It's just like a good, steady position right here. Okay? My goal for me, I like, I love actually when, when they don't stand up. I like, when I'm in my butterfly guard, he tries to stay down. I feel like I can sweep people really well here. So like, this is where I want them to go. So to make them go here instead of standing, when they stand, I just kind of frustrate them. They get them in positions like this, you start coming over, you know, until they get to here. Once they're here, I feel like I'm gonna sweep them pretty well. So I guess that for fundamentally, when they stand, you have to anchor to them. If you don't anchor to them, and you're just here, just here, it's no good. They control your ankles, control your hips and knee, it's no good. Anchor to them, whether it be De La Hiva, okay, whether it be single X like Marcelo does and his students, okay, whether it be just hooking both and grabbing my calves, you know, even if they're here, they're not passing, okay, you've got a lot of stuff, you've got more options here than I do up here. Um, whether you're sitting up, you hook, I step in, you hook, and you're here, okay? Not a lot of stuff I can do, but you can do a lot of stuff. If you guys want to come by, check out our 30-day free trial here at Grace Tampa. Um, call us at 813-300-3000.
it should be a number it should be lost. 813-319-5800. Thank you.